Welcome back to my writer's room, everyone. I am Matt Wallace, YouTube's resident angry writer, and thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to come hang out with me in my angry little writerly sanctum. I always appreciate it. I really do. Your time's very valuable. There's plenty of other content out there. Smarter, better, funnier, better produced content you could be watching. But you're watching my talking head, and I really appreciate that. Uh, me Not Being Naked on the Vlog is brought to you by our t-shirt of the day, which is my... Uh, Shane Douglas, the franchise t-shirt, the fucking franchise. Um, if you've never seen Shane Douglas in the immortal classic, uh, Zombies vs. Pro Wrestlers, highly recommend you go watch it. <laughs> um, it's a terrible movie that Shane is terrible in, but Roddy Piper is amazing. Roddy Piper is the reason to go uh, watch Pro Wrestlers vs. Uh, Zombies. Uh, the rest of the movie is god-awful. <laughs> But the 10 or 15 minutes that really highlight Roddy Piper, uh, immortal classics. Kills the zombie with a coconut. Uh, hashtag spoiler alert. And uh, if you're a wrestling fan, you'll get that reference. If not, that just sounds ridiculous. And it is. But again, if you get the reference, it mitigates the ridiculousness. Anyway, it is December 29th, 2017. Ham Shackle Pig is, uh, he's flying a kite. He's put away his, uh, he's hung up his knives. And uh, he's contemplating the wars he's fought and the friends he's lost. And he's flying a kite. Because sometimes you just need to go fly a fucking kite. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, so that's what's happening. Uh, Ham Shackle Pig is flying a kite. Thinking about where he's been. Thinking about where he's going. Um, so this is it, uh, folks. Members of Team Ham Shackle. Casual viewers who don't know why they should be watching me talk about anything. Um, this is, I realized... I just realized literally 60 seconds before I uh, I pushed my little little Bluetooth remote because professionalism and started this recording that uh, this is the last vlog of the year. Um, when I see you on Monday, it will be 2018. So not only is this Friday, the end of the week, last vlog of the year, um, <laughs> which puts a lot of onus on it to be meaningful in some way. And I feel like I'm going to fail utterly at that. So I apologize in advance. Um... We like to end the week on the vlog with a question. If uh, it's one of the small traditions we've we've quickly developed here on Angry Writer uh, on the daily vlog. Wrapping up the week uh, by asking a question. And as it is the last vlog of the year, I felt the most pertinent question is, what do you want? Because um, that's what it all comes down to. That's what recapping... The year is about, it's what resolutions are about, it's what the end of the year is always about. It's We don't necessarily phrase it in that way, but I feel like that's what it comes down to, is us asking ourselves, uh, what, what the hell do we want um, out of this new arbitrary cycle of measuring days and weeks uh, that we have coming up? What do we want? So that's the question. I don't know what you want. Uh, you could want to go to clown college because that's always been a dream of yours. I don't know you, um, but what do I want? <laughs> I guess this, that's the only question I can answer. I'm interested in your answers. If you want to leave them in the comments, absolutely let me know what you want. I'm curious. Maybe you'll give me some inspiration. Um, but what do I want? That's the only question I have the ability to answer on this vlog. And, and when I really get down to it, uh, having n prepared nothing <laughs> at all for this, Literally just uh, going, going shooting from the hip here. I'm not literally shooting from the hip because I don't have a gun. I didn't draw it from my hip, and that's not what literal means. Anyway, um, what do I want? You know, I just I'll, I will be perfectly honest uh, with all of you because I feel I can. You are your team ham shackle. You're down for the ride. You're my ride or die of viewers, and I'm just going to be completely honest with you about what I want in 2018. I want everything. As the, that's the honest answer. Um, after 12 years as a freelance writer, I, uh, I'm sick of the, the, the thin, small victory years that I've had. Sick of it. And they also will not do anymore. I am a married man now. I am a newly married man. I am a, uh, I am a new homeowner. I have a new life and a new family. And what has come before will no longer do. And every year, um, for the past however many years I've been in this game, I've just tried to do a little better each year. And I've told myself, well, if I can just do a little better this next year, uh, eventually I'll get where I'm going. 
And uh, that attitude, uh, it just it just won't cut it for me anymore. And you may say, Matt, that's that's what you should be doing. You shouldn't you shouldn't uh, dismiss that. And you may be right, but I'm just I'm no longer satisfied with it. I'm not. I'm just I'm just not. I uh, I am too good at what I do, and I am too serious about what I do uh, to be where I find myself at this point in time. I should be doing better than this. And the only reason that I that I have not that I can arrive at is I have not said to myself, uh, I want everything. <laughs> and to get everything, I've got to give everything. And what I mean by that is in 2018, I am going to keep writing and keep creating content more than I ever have before every single day until I get to where I want to be. Because that's, that's honestly the only way that I know for sure I can make things uh, happen. You can do all the marketing you want. You can do all the networking you want. You can pitch all the ideas you want. You can talk endlessly in meetings and type up endless uh, synopses and proposals and pitches and you know, uh, you know, look books and all this crap that I've been peddling around this town for years. But at the end of the day, what gets it done is having the goods, is having, is just making the thing. Whatever the thing is, whether it's a novel or a pilot or a screenplay or a web video or a web series or a movie or whatever it is, it's just making the damn thing. And that is what 2018 is all about. I am just going to make the damn thing. Um, I'm not going to sit around and wait anymore. I'm not going to pitch anymore. I'm just going to do um, and that's, you know, what I talked about in the, in the past week, I've talked about how I'm front loading 2018 with as many projects as possible. I've been talking about how I've been, uh, searching for a full-time writer position. I've been talking about, uh, my goals for the channel here, the YouTube channels I'm doing, all the content that I'm doing for them. And it's all part of the same thing. It's all part of, in 2018, I want everything. So I'm going to give everything to 2018 to get it. Um, you know, I want to show my amazing wife who has had nothing but faith in me the whole time we've been together enough to actually marry me, to commit to being with this for her whole life. That's how much faith she has in what I'm trying to do. I am determined that she finally see the fruits of of uh, all the labor she has put in to having that faith in me and supporting me and watching me go through the shit that I've gone through since we've been together. All the defeats and all the bad beats and all the rejection and all the no's and all the shit that didn't sell, you know, all of that. I am determined for her to finally enjoy the reverse uh, side of that on all avenues. I am determined to give us the life that I want us to have. I don't care how screwed up this country is, or how screwed up the systems that prop it up are, I am going to become so fucking successful that we can have whatever life we want, even within the context of that screwed up system. I am determined to make that happen, and it's going to happen now. Not years from now, not someday, not at the end of the rainbow, right fucking now. That is what is going to happen. So that's what I want. That is what I want in 2018, and that's what I'm going to go get. Uh, ambitious, perhaps, but, uh, really not, man. It's all, me it's all measured. It's all, it really is. I've been doing this again, 12 years in. I know there are people who've been doing this longer than me, but I feel like 12 years I've learned enough to be able to, uh, to know what I can accomplish and what I can't, uh, within the confines of the industries uh, that I work in. And I think I've learned enough to see where I can do better and how I can do better. And I just have to commit myself to doing that. So that's it, man. That's the answer to that question. What do I want in 2018? Everything. How am I gonna, how am I gonna get it? I'm gonna give everything. And uh, that's that's really all it is, you know? I, uh, I wish the same for you, all of you out there. Whatever your everything is, I hope, uh, I hope giving everything to it is enough to get it. Sometimes it's not, that's the truth. That's the, that's the thing they don't tell you. <coughs> when they give you that whole spiel about you can be whatever you want to be as a kid and just try your best and that'll be enough. They don't tell you that many times in life, perhaps your whole life, you will consistently do the best you possibly can and it won't be enough uh, to fulfill your goals. What they really mean is it should be enough for you. They don't qualify that. 
They say your best, your best will be good enough. They mean like for you to be satisfied with the effort you gave. They don't mean getting whatever you were trying to get because again, uh, many times in life you will give all you have to something and you will not get what you were trying to get. It's just a fucking fact of life. It's a, it's a, one of the tougher ones and one of the, one of the ones they don't like to quantify when they're giving you pep talks as a kid. So yeah, uh, again, what do you, what do you, what do you all want? I'm sure it sounds less like a supervillain monologue than, uh, whatever I just said just then. I got into a zone. I really did. I was not expecting to go to that place, but I'm not sorry that I did because it's the truth. It's all the truth and it's time. It's time. I, uh, I try to have a healthy attitude about like, you know, they tell you other authors aren't your competition and that's absolutely the truth. Uh, but they tell you that to mitigate jealousy because we have, that's, that is a common thing with, with writers, with all freelance creators, <coughs> excuse me, whatever you do, uh, professional, uh, jealousy and envy is always something we, we all have to uh, deal with at, at many points. <laughs> I don't think it ever ends, honestly. Um, I remember reading, uh, Joe Esterhaus's book, um, The Devil's Guide to Hollywood, and he talked about how, because at one point Joe Esterhaus had the record for the uh, largest screenplay sale in Hollywood history. He had been paid, um, however much he'd been paid for uh, for Basic Instinct, not Basic Instinct. He'd been paid before that. He'd been paid like five hundred thousand or a million dollars or something, whatever, for one of his screenplays. Anyway, point being, he was uh, he was reading the paper one day and he read that Shane Black, who wrote Lethal Weapon had broken his record with, I think, The Last Boy, Boy Scout. He had sold the script of The Last Boy Scout for like a million, uh, a million and a quarter. And <laughs> Joe Husterhouse was really jealous and really pissed and wanted his record back. Um, so in 13 days, he wrote Basic Instinct, which he ended up selling for whatever the hell that was, $5 million or whatever, and got his record back. So even <laughs> at that level, even at the level when you become the highest paid screenwriter, in the history of Hollywood, uh, you still deal with professional jealousy and envy. Long way around the barn to come back to our original point, which is uh, one of the ways I deal with professional envy and jealousy when I see people get things that I want, particularly when I see people who I don't feel deserve those things, um, which you know sounds terrible, but we all have those thoughts, and you're it's you're a liar if you if you don't if you don't cop to that. Uh, one of the ways I deal with it is telling myself, it's okay, it's not my time yet. They're having their time, and that's fine. Let them have their time. My time will come. This is just not it right now. That's a thing. That is, honestly, I cannot tell you uh, how valuable a coping mechanism that is, especially in the age of social media when everybody's shit is in our faces all the time. We choose to have that be there. You know, I'm the one on Twitter every day, so I'm not complaining. I'm just saying... That's a thing. Like, you see the news, the breaking news every day. You see people with their announcements. And uh, the, one of the ways I have remained uh, both sane and not let myself be corroded into becoming a horrible, envious, jealous, bitter person is by reminding myself, it's not your time yet. They're having theirs. Yours will come. And I really do believe that when I, when I tell myself that. And the reason it works as a coping mechanism is because I do believe it. It's not just placating myself it's realizing an essential truth for me i believe that it's not my time but my time will come so be, having said that um this is gonna be my time my time has come and it's it's time for that to be me it's time for other people to have to say that about me and that's so that's when i say i want everything in 2018 i mean everything including that like it's my turn to be that to be that person and I'm going after it with everything I got. They're gonna have they're gonna have to blast me off the fucking wall to stop me. Um, so come along for the ride, folks. Watch me either ascend to glory or crash and burn spectacularly. I will be vlogging all of it every day in 2018. You can follow along the journey. Subscribe here to Angry Writer to watch it all happen. Um, and with that sentiment, I am going to close my final vlog of the year of 2017. Um, in all, in all sincerity, uh, look, I, you know, this is a, this is a little thing that I'm doing here. I have like 300 subscribers to this channel right now. A very small percentage of those subscribers actually watch these vlogs. Um, I have a very small core group of Team Hamshackle 
who really care about what I'm doing here. And, and, and I just want to say sincerely, knowing all of that, recognizing all of that, and accepting all of that, I am grateful uh, for your support for what I've been doing with this channel and with this vlog uh, since I started it uh, three months ago. Thank you so much for subscribing, for watching, for tweeting uh, hashtag Team Ham Shackle and telling other people about it, for creating fan art and sending it to me. I just can't even, I can't express um, the fuel that that gives me going into 2018, wanting to accomplish all the things that I want to accomplish. Despite, again, accepting that it's it's small right now, that, that spark, it really, it makes me believe. You make me believe, you really have. In the last few months doing this channel, you've helped me uh, believe in everything that I want to do and make me, make me believe that it's possible to do it. So thank you, thank you, Team Hamshackle out there. Come with me into 2018, let's keep it going. Let's make this something big. I, I, I would enjoy that. One time, something big, it would just be nice. But I won't forget uh, of any of you who, uh, who I started out with here on the channel, so thank you. I hope your 2018 is amazing. Whether it's just, uh, you know, your continued survival or whether it's ascending to heights you never thought you could, I wish you uh, all the success and all the fortune, all the good health, all the good news uh, that you can possibly get. You, you all deserve it. Thank you. Um, I'll, I'll see you in 2018. I, I am Matt Wallace, and I will see you in 2018, Team Hamshackle.